Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a level two, three strength building class. So this is definitely not a traditional yoga class. We do have some yoga flow in there and we have some yoga poses, but we're using weights. So I've got a set of four kilo and two and a half kilo weights. You don't have to use weights. You could do this whole class without it. Although I would suggest having something that's a little bit heavier. So even if that's like a water bottle or a couple of water bottles or something, just because it helps to challenge your balance. But you definitely don't need it, you can do it without it. Um, if you do enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments section below. One thing I did want to mention before we get started, I do mention it a few times, but not in all the poses. So just because we're doing something that's different doesn't mean that your alignment just goes out of the window. So when you're in your warriors or your lunges or whatever, still pay attention to what your alignment is doing. It's harder, but you don't have to go at my pace. You can slow it down, you can do less reps, whatever it is that you need to feel safe in your body. We want to practice for a long time, so don't let your ego get in the way of that. Just because you can't do something, it doesn't matter. You modify it until you can do it, and then that way you'll be able to keep on practicing. Anyway, that's my bit. We are gonna get started today at the back of the match in Tadasana. mat take a nice deep inhale through the nose sweep the arms up and overhead as you exhale swan dive forward take as much of a bend in your knees as you need to inhale halfway lift and lengthen as you exhale keep your hips nice and stable one hand print at a time walk yourself all the way out to a high plank lower your knees if you need to inhale shift forward as you exhale chaturanga inhale press back up to your plank as you exhale once again keeping those hips stable walk the hands back to the feet inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold a generous bend in the knees roll up the length of the spine inhale sweep the arms up exhale swan dive forward inhale lengthen exhale walk yourself out high plank inhale shift forward exhale chaturanga inhale plank exhale chaturanga Inhale, plank. Exhale, walk yourself back to your feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Generous bend in the knees. Roll yourself all the way up your spine. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk yourself out to plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. We're going to hold. Drop your knees here if you need to. Move the shoulders away from the ears and make sure that your shoulders aren't dropping lower than your elbows. Press the floor away. High plank pose. Downward facing dog. Bend in through the knees until the knees hover above the floor. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to shift forward all the way into Chaturanga. Inhale, press back into that little crouch. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, little crouch. Exhale, Chaturanga. Three more. Come into your plank pose. Walk your knees underneath your hips so you're in a bear pose. You're going to ground down through the left hand. You're going to shoot the left leg off to the right side of the mat and then come back to your bear. Lift the left hand as the right leg shoots off to the left side of the mat. Inhale into your bear. These are our break dances. We will add weight to these later. Three more to each side.
come back into your bear pose, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, exhale. This time, you're going to sweep the right leg up, take an inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the left hand. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're going to come back into your three-legged dog. Step the right leg forward, outside of the right hand. Inhale. Exhale. Three-legged dog. Got three more like that. Last one. three-legged dog. Once again, step that right foot to the outside of the right hand. You're going to lift your right hand. Your left leg is going to come through in between that left hand and right foot. So it's a similar movement, but we're going forward. And then you're going to step that left leg back. Bring the right leg back, three-legged dog. Inhale. As you exhale, step forward. Woo. Left leg comes through. Step left leg back, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot down, left leg through. You're going to take three more. Find a breath pattern that works for you. Link your movement to your breath. Come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. As you exhale, step left foot outside of left hand. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through. Step it forward. Take three more. Take it back up, inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the left foot down, right leg shoots through. Step the right leg back, inhale, sweep the left leg up. Take four more here. Come back into your downward facing dog, ripple forward into your high plank pose, lower down chaturanga. Option to hold, option to drop the knees, otherwise exhale right foot lifts, inhale it down, exhale left foot, inhale down, four more each side nice and slow, move from the glutes. Press the floor away, high plank. Send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees until they hover above the floor. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to hop forward to Malasana. Lift the hands as you inhale. As you exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Hips to heels. Pop it forward. Show your hands. Hands down, Chaturanga. I'm not going to cue your breath here. Find what works for you so you're not hyperventilating and link it to your movement. You can do four more. Last one. Downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise up, Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Option for a second Chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale downward dog, bend the knees straight away, step, walk or float.
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Step walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We're going to do eight more rounds. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step walk or flip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. You're going to do the last seven on your own. I have two more rounds. It doesn't matter if you're with my pace or not. Downward dog step, walk or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, exhale, fold. Grab your heavier weights if you're using them. They're going to come up to your shoulders. Take your feet about hips distance apart. We're going to come into a chair pose. You're going to inhale, come into your chair. Hands are at your shoulders. As you exhale, you're going to press. Turn the palms to face the front as you press them overhead. Palms face inwards as you inhale, come into your chair. Spine is neutral. Exhale, press to stand, palms face forward. We've got eight more here. Inhale down, exhale up. We're going to add some balance. So you're going to inhale, come down. As you exhale, stand on the left leg, right knee to chest. Nothing else changes. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left leg lifts. Inhale, chair. Exhale, right leg lifts. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left leg lifts. We do eight more on each side. Make sure that when you're coming to stand on that one leg, you're not just throwing yourself into it. So it's the same thing that we always do in single leg poses. You're trying to keep your weight central. And obviously you're going to shift a little bit. You're not dropping out through the hip. You're not just tilting your torso over like the Leaning Tower of Pisa.
hands come to the heart inhale into your chair take an exhale here if you're not using weights you can certainly add an arm movement if you are using weights i'm going to give it as an option it depends how heavy your weights are you're going to inhale into your chair your arms could reach forward as you exhale your arms can reach back behind you lift the heels inhale maybe you're doing a bicep curl as you exhale maybe you're doing a tricep kickback inhale your arms could reach all the way forward exhale your arms can sweep all the way back wherever you are when you reach those arms back i want you to straighten from the elbows and engage through the backs of the arms the triceps nothing else in your chair has changed so your spine is still neutral you're not rounding out through your spine and when you come onto the tippy toes you've got even weight through the pinky toe and the big toe side of your foot if you want to make this more challenging take your feet apart because now you have to independently stabilize through each ankle we're going to do five more You're going to hold your weights down by your side. Stay in your tippy toe chair. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to raise all the way to stand on your toes. Bicep curl. Palms come into the shoulders. As you inhale, you're going to release the arms down. Come back into your tippy toe chair. Drop your heels if you need. And then as you exhale, press to stand all the way on the tippy toes. Hands come into the shoulders. So having the weights here with this movement might seem really subtle, but as you add that weighted movement into that up and down on your tippy toes, your body's having to work really hard to stabilize. So if you wanted to make this harder, you would take those weights further away from your body when you're moving up and down so that your body has to stabilize even more. But we're doing slow and controlled movements. So if you're taking those weights further away from your body, make sure you're not just flinging them through the air. You can move faster as long as it's with control. So for example, I could really power up, but I'm slow and controlled at the end, and then really power down, but I'm catching myself at the end. So you can play with this and find what works with you. We're going to do two more. Come back into your tippy toe chair. Take an inhale. As you exhale, forward fold. Take a gentle bend in your knees. Take an inhale here. So it's going to be opposite to what we normally do. As you exhale, engage your hamstrings. You're going to come into a deadlift. So those... Um, legs are going to stay straight. You're going to come all the way up to standing. As you inhale, you're only going to lower down so far that you can keep neutral through your whole spine. So once you start to round your shoulders, that's as far as you go. Exhale, come all the way to standing. We're just going to do three more like this. As you come to standing, you're exhaling. I want you to feel your hamstrings and your glutes engaging. So these are the muscles that you should always be using when we're coming from our swan dive. You could stay there. Otherwise, we are going to up level by coming onto the tippy toes. So you're going to inhale, lower down, still a little gentle bend in through the knees. And then as you exhale, engaging through the back body. Now we've got that balance component. My palms are facing each other. But you could certainly have your palms, uh, sorry, my palms are facing my shins, but you could certainly have your palms facing each other if that worked better for you. So by slowing this down and adding the weights, we're reinforcing to our body the muscles that we need to use when we come through a regular flow because sometimes we miss them. Sometimes we just flop and flail 
which is not what we want. We're going to do two more like this, and then we're going to layer again. So you could once again stay here. You could stay there, otherwise you're going to drop your left foot and we're going to turn this into a single leg movement. We're not going to do many of these because we're going to come back to something really similar later. So as you inhale, you'll come down into your warrior three. As you exhale, you'll press through that whole left foot, come to standing, draw the right knee to chest. We're going to do two more like this. If you're still just with your regular deadlift, please feel free to add some chair squats in between. You could stay with that single leg deadlift. If you really want to up level, we're going to come onto those tippy toes. This is really hard. So as you inhale, that right hip squares down, you come down into your best warrior three. And then as you exhale, keep that heel lifted, ground down through the whole ball of the left foot, come all the way to standing. Inhale, tippy toe, balanced warrior three. And then as you exhale, come all the way to standing. We're just gonna do three more of those. Your whole ankle stabilizing complex should be on fire. Whew. Last one on this side. Set it down. We're gonna take that right leg down. We'll start by just coming into a regular warrior three or a single leg deadlift. Inhale down, exhale all the way to standing. And remember, we're still incorporating our alignment. So just because we've added weights, and it's a little bit of a different structure to our class, doesn't mean that we throw everything that we know about these poses out of the window. They become even more important now. Last one like this. You could take another five like that or level up, lift that right heel. Same thing, we've got five. <laughs> Sliders are really difficult. You're going to pop those weights down. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward, bend the knees. Inhale, come into your halfway lift, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, take it back through your vinyasa. We're going to flow without weights for a bit. Step, walk, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float through your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg sweeps up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, cartwheel flow through. Option for a single leg vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, vinyasa. Step walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, vinyasa. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, vinyasa flow through. Step walk or flip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. One more round. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, veer two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, veer two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, cut will flow through. Step walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, you're going to grab one weight. You could certainly grab two if you wanted to. I'm just going to grab one. We're going to come back into our chair. I'm going to give you options here. First option, you inhale into your chair. Exhale, you'll come all the way to stand, tippy toes. Inhale, chair. Exhale, all the way to stand, tippy toes. Otherwise, we're going to add some cardio here. You're going to inhale to squat. Exhale, jump. Inhale, squat. Exhale, jump. We've got 20. We've got 17 more. Land soft. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Have both of your weights near you. Take an inhale, halfway lift fingertips. As you exhale, take it through your vinyasa. We are going to do a little bit more cardio, but we're going to do a little bit core work first to prepare us. So come forward into your plank pose. Feet wider will make this easier. Feet narrower will make this harder. Feet together will be the hardest. I don't care where you are. I want your pelvis to be stable. That is your priority. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to row with the right arm. So elbow comes up to the sky. Don't rotate your rib cage. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale. You've got a tray of drinks on your back. Left arm rows. Inhale it down. Exhale, right. Inhale, down, exhale, left, inhale, down, exhale, right, inhale, down, exhale, left, inhale, down. Seven more on each side.
we're going to add on. So you're going to exhale, row, and then straighten from the elbow. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, it's a row, and then a straighten. Inhale to settle down. Set it down. Settle down. Exhale, row, and kick back. Inhale, set it down. Oh my God, my husband would cringe so hard if he was hearing me now. We're going for seven more on each side. So we've got a row and a kick back, set it down. Row, kick back, set it down. Six more each side. Knees are always there if you need them. Casual plank hold. So come into your plank. You're going to shift back into downward dog. You're going to tap that right dumbbell to the left toes. Inhale, come back forward. Exhale, switch left dumbbell to right toes. Inhale, come forward. Just four more on each side, and we're going to add on, of course. as much of a twist as you can. Now, you could stay like that for five more on each side. Otherwise, you're going to twist. And then as you shift forward into your plank, you're going to punch that weight out in front of you. Bring it down. Twist, opposite hand to opposite foot. Shift forward, see if you can reach that weight out in front of you. If it's too heavy, you could also reach it to the side. Twist, see if you can reach that weight out, palm down. Twist, reach the weight out, palm down, hips stay even. Got three more on each side. Last one. Come into your downward facing dog. We're going to take a, what you could consider a really tricky vinyasa. This move is called the maker. You can certainly do this with way heavier weights when I'm at the gym, I definitely do. But for this class, we're gonna keep it light. So you're gonna come into your plank. You're gonna shift forward into your chaturanga. Exhale, press up. Take an inhale here. You're going to exhale, row right. Inhale, down. Exhale, row left. Inhale, down. You're going to exhale, hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, you're going to come into a squat. Hands to shoulders. Exhale, press. Inhale, you're going to come all the way back down into your chaturanga. And press back up. Exhale, row. Inhale, down. Exhale, row, inhale, down, exhale, hop, inhale, shoulders, exhale, press, inhale, hop back into your chaturanga, uh, exhale, come up, row, inhale, down, exhale, row, inhale, down, exhale, hop, inhale, low squat, exhale, press, inhale, hop back, exhale, lower, inhale, plank, Exhale, row, inhale, plank, exhale, row, inhale, plank, exhale, malasana, inhale, hands to shoulders, exhale, press, you get the point, find a breath that works for you. We're going to do 10 more. You can also speed this up, just know that if you do speed it up, I'm still just going to do 10, so you go for as long as it takes me to do 10.
Vẫn chết mà Last one. We're going to come back down to a vinyasa. And meet in downward facing dog. I am going to take my lighter weights for this section, but you can certainly stick with your heavier ones. We're going to meet in downward facing dog. You're going to step your right leg forward. You probably have heavier weights for this one. We're going to come into our lunge. So our arms are going to come off to the side. If this does not feel good in your shoulders, you're going to keep your palms down and you're going to raise them forward. Woo, I'm going to fall over. As you inhale, you're going to dip the back knee. Arms raised to the side. Exhale, straighten both legs. Inhale, you're trying to keep the ball of your back foot. Exhale, come up on the floor. So I don't want to see your ankle wobbling all over the place. If you've done my foam roller classes, then we do a move where you keep your back foot on the foam roller and you come into a lunge. You try not to move it. This is the same thing. Make sure your front knee is not coming forward of your toes, you want it perpendicular with the floor. We've got one more. You're going to hold in your crescent lunge. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to come to stand on the right leg. The arms are going to do the same thing. Inhale, come back into your crescent. Exhale, solid, come to stand on the right. Arms come out. Inhale, back to crescent. We've got eight more. On this last one, we're going to stay standing on our right leg. Take an inhale. You're going to bring those arms down. As you exhale, you're going to raise that right arm all the way overhead on a diagonal. Inhale, slow lower down. Exhale, left arm raises. Inhale, slow lower down. Exhale, right arm raises. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left. Inhale, lower. We're going to do eight more on each side. Play around with raising your arms at different angles to your body. I don't want this to hurt your shoulder. You bend your elbow as much as you need to. But play around with the different angles and find how it throws your balance. That left knee still actively drawing into the chest. Got four more on each side. You're going to step back into your crescent lunge. We're going to open out warrior two. If your weights are too heavy to hold in warrior two, you can come into like a little cactus arm situation here, or you can just drop your weights. As you inhale, you're going to straighten the front leg, reach those arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, come back into warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg, reach arms. Exhale, warrior two. We've got eight more. Make sure that that front knee is not collapsing into the midline. You can see your big toe. And make sure that your knee isn't coming way forward of your ankle. If it is, take a wider stance.
one more. Shoulders. You're going to pivot towards the long end of your mat. We're going to come into goddess pose. So you're going to have your weight at your heart center. Take an inhale in your goddess. As you exhale, your weights are going to come out, so you're making like a cactus position. Inhale, bring those weights in front of your face. Exhale, open out like a cactus. Inhale, come down. It's like a chest press. Exhale, you come out. Or well, not a chest press, one of those, I don't know what they call those funny machines at the gym where you like do a chest fly thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't use machines. We're going to do six more. You're going to pivot back into your warrior two, or at least warrior two legs if your arms are cooked. Inhale, flip that front palm, reverse your warrior. And then as you exhale, you're going to cartwheel down, ditch the left weight. You're going to step back into a side plank on the left hand. Now, be careful of your shoulder. If this doesn't feel good, you make this movement way smaller. As you inhale, you're going to reach the weight towards the top of the room. As you exhale, it's like you're drawing a big rainbow towards your right hip. My palm is facing the long end of my mat. Inhale, reach it up and overhead. Exhale, draw it down. So when I draw down, I'm using my lats, my chin-up muscles. And then as I inhale, I'm using all my shoulder stabilizers to not reach too far. We've got seven more. One more. Take that weight to the top of the mat. Come forward into a high plank with or without a vinyasa. We'll take it to downward dog. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale. You're going to step, walk, or float to the top of your mat. We are going to do the other side, but we're just going to take a little inter um, intermission and give our arms a bit of a break. You could hold a weight here if you wanted to. You're going to inhale, come up into chair pose. As you exhale, we're going to raise up onto the heels, raise up onto the toes, lower the hips to the heels, lower the heels. You're going to roll the length of the spine, not onto the neck, onto the top of the shoulders. Then you're going to roll back down the spine, plant the hands, come all the way to stand. Squat down, roll back, plant the feet, come all the way up. You could stay here if you want to. We can add 10 with a jump. <laughs> Remember, you're not rolling onto your neck. That's really important. One more. Woo. Give it a little bit of shake out. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Open mouth, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, step, walk or float. Vinyasa or straight to downward dog. You're going to have your lighter weights again. We're going to do the second side. So you're going to step your left leg forward for a crescent lunge. We're going to do it slightly different this time. So before our palms are down, 
Now our palms are going to be up. So we're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, palms face up. Straighten both legs as you reach those arms up overhead. Inhale, come down into your lunge. Exhale, we're reaching all the way up this time. You could stop at shoulder height if that felt better for your shoulders. We're going to do eight more. Inhale, come into your crescent. This time as you exhale, you're going to come all the way to stand on the left leg. Arms raise up overhead. Palms are facing up. Inhale, come back down into your crescent lunge. Exhale, strong, solid left leg. Come all the way to stand. Inhale, bring it back down. We've got eight more. Remember to press through that whole left foot as you come to stand. Try and keep the knees stable. Try and keep the hips stable. The last one, we're going to come and stand on that left leg. Bring the hands down by the side on an inhale. As you exhale, raise the right hand, that palm still facing up. Inhale, slow, lower down. Exhale, left hand. Inhale, slow, lower down. You've got nine more on each side. Once again, play around with moving at different angles to your body. You can cross the body. You can come way out to the side. Play around. Last ones. You're going to step back into your crescent on an inhale. And then as you exhale, open it out, warrior two. Palms are going to face up. Once again, take as much of a bend in your elbows as you need to. You're going to take an inhale here. As you exhale, straighten the front leg. Palms meet overhead. Inhale, warrior two. We've got nine more here solid through that front leg, really engage your glute. last one. So you're going to bring it through center, open up into your goddess pose. As you inhale, come into your squat. As you exhale, we're going to come back into that W cactus position. Inhale, bring those hands in front of you. Exhale, open out. We've got eight more.
last one. Come back up into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, as you cartwheel down, you're gonna set the right weight off to the side, plant the right hand, come into your side plank pose, left arm reaches up. As you inhale, you're gonna sweep that left arm only as far as is comfortable overhead for you. And then as you exhale, rainbow it back to your left hip. Inhale, sweep the arm forward. Exhale, take it back. You've got eight more. Take that left weight off your mat with or without a vinyasa. You're going to make your way through to your downward facing dog. Step walk or float through to a boat pose. We're going to take another little intermission before our final standing series. You could, of course, do this without weights if you wanted to. Otherwise, you're going to grab one heavy weight. Come back into your boat pose. I almost forgot what this was called. So your first option would be just reaching that weight up and overhead. That might be challenging enough for your balance. Otherwise, we're going to take a halo. So you're going to circle to the right, back and around your head and come forward. And then you're going to circle to the left, back and around your head and come forward. The further back behind you you go, the harder this is going to be. We're going to do eight more in each direction. Oh, my legs are getting tired. That is not the point. One more. Bring it down. Give yourself a little rest. We're going to do one more thing here before we come back up for our final little standing sequence. So bring yourself back into your boat pose. Your feet could be up or down. Russian twist. You're going to twist right as you exhale. Left. Uh, sorry. I can't even tell which one's right and left. You're going to twist from side to side. Inhale to tap, exhale to center. Inhale to tap, exhale to center. 10 more each side. Come through center. Bring it all the way to the top of your mat. Take your weights to the side. You're going to take one roll of your spine and bring yourself all the way back up to chair pose. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Have your heavier weights ready. Take an inhale, halfway lift up on the fingertips. And then as you exhale, step back, float back, vinyasa or not, downward facing dog. You're going to step your right leg forward. You're going to inhale, bring those weights up to the shoulders. Take an inhale here. You're going to dip the bottom knee. As you exhale, you're going to keep the leg bent. Uh, sorry, keep the front leg bent, but press the arms up overhead. So as you inhale, just the back knee bends. Exhale, back knee straightens, press the arms overhead. Inhale, dip. 
exhale, press. We've just got seven more. Bring your hands down by your side, stay in your crescent, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna shift forward into warrior three. Now, if warrior three is too much, you're gonna come into a power lunge. Your palms are gonna stay facing each other. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna row, inhale, release. Exhale to row, inhale, release. Eight more here. You're gonna press all the way to standing on that right leg, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna come back into warrior three. Inhale here, just the right arm. As you exhale, you're gonna reverse fly. So take it out to the right, inhale it down. Woo. Exhale, come to stand. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, reverse fly. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale to stand, hard for the balance. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, right arm reaches to the right. Inhale, bring it to midline. Exhale, stand. We've got seven more. Your right glute should be on fire. Last one. From here, you're gonna step your left leg all the way back to the back of the mat, warrior two legs. You could take both weights into the top arm if you wanted to make this a bit heavier, or you can ditch one of the weights on the floor. Left hand is gonna be up, right hand is gonna come down into a side angle. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, weights come straight to the sky. Use your obliques, straighten the front leg. It's like a reaching triangle. Inhale, you're gonna bend that front leg, come back into your side angle. Exhale, you're gonna reach all the way up. So my weights aren't moving, they're moving up and down in space. But if you were to look at them on a line, the idea is, is like if I had a line from the roof to the ceiling, they kind of stay relatively on that line. I'm not swinging them back and forward kind of horizontally. We've got five more here. Our last one. Take both weights into both hands. You're going to pivot back to the top of your mat and take it through a vinyasa. Last standing sequence, last side. Step that left leg forward. Come up into your crescent lunge. This time, your palms are going to face your shoulders and they're gonna rotate. So you're gonna inhale, dip the bottom knee. As you exhale, straighten the back knee, the palms will face forward and press overhead. Inhale, rotate those palms in to face the shoulders as you dip the back knee. Exhale, palms face the front of the room as you come into crescent. We've got eight more. Don't forget about your lower body alignment. Be aware of what you're doing and don't dump into your lower back. 
So if this is hurting your lower back, drop your weights. Last one. Bring those weights down beside you. Take an inhale. As you exhale, whew, you're shifting forward either into your warrior three or into your power lunge. This time your palms will face the back of the room. Take an inhale. As you exhale, row, elbows come wide. Inhale, release. Exhale, elbows come wide. Inhale, release. Eight more. And don't forget, you're in a warrior three. Where is your alignment? One more. You're going to come all the way up to standing. Take an exhale. As you inhale, you're going to come into your warrior three. Just your left hand as you exhale will come out to the left. Inhale it back in. Exhale, come to stand. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, send the left arm reverse fly. Inhale it back in. Exhale, stand up. You've got eight more here. Move slow and with intention. That was our last one. You're going to step that right leg all the way back into warrior two legs. Once again, you could drop one weight or take both weights into your right hand. Come down into side angle. That right arm is directly above you. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, those weights reach straight towards the sky. Use your right obliques. Use your left leg. Inhale. Bring it down. Side angle. Exhale. Reach it up. We've got eight more here. This is our last push. Last one. Take both weights into both hands. Rotate towards the top of your mat. With or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. Step walk or float through to a seat. Grab a cheeky drink. And then make your way all the way down onto your back. One last thing with weights. Well, two last things. We're going to do a couple of chest press moves. So elbows wider is going to be more chest. Elbows narrower is going to be more triceps. You choose what feels best for you. Take an inhale. You're setting up for bridge. As you exhale, you're going to lift the hips. You could stay here. Otherwise, if you want to make this harder, you will float one leg. Only float one leg if you don't drop down through that hip. 
So take a peek, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to press both of the weights towards the sky. Make sure you don't drop that hip if you've got the foot lifted. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, bring it down. We've got eight more here. If you had one leg lifted, we're going to switch it out and we're going to do 10 more. Last two. Set the left foot down, set the back down, lower the arms. We're going to send the feet up towards the sky, legs as straight as what is as comfortable in your body. You could stick with the chest press, otherwise your palms are going to face each other. Your arms are going to come wide like you're going to give someone a hug. You're going to exhale, bring them back together. And then we're going to add a little crunch. So gentle tuck of the chin to the chest. Press the weights to the toes. Inhale, lower down. Arms come apart. Exhale, big hug, little crunch. Inhale, poof, fly in my face. Lower down. Exhale, lift it up. So it's two separate moves, but you're making it fluid. So you'll inhale, open. As you exhale, get that chest fly first and then add the crunch at the end. We've got six more. Last one. Set those weights off to the side. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Give your lower back a little massage. Rock the head from side to side. You're going to cross the left ankle over the right knee. Take the arms out to capital T and then let the legs fall over towards the left. If this spinal twist doesn't work in your body. Please find one that does. And then come back to center, switch it to the other side. Bring it in through center. Either take reclined pigeon or your figure four bridge. Take it to the other side. Bring it down, hug those knees in towards the chest, maybe take a happy baby, take any other movements that you need 
here to make your practice feel complete. I would recommend if you have the time, maybe taking a little bit of a stretch sequence, stretching out the hip flexors, quads, upper body. And then when you're ready, taking a nice deep inhale through the nose. Here we go for mouth exhale, let it go. Take up space on your mat. Please stay here for as long as what serves you. As always, thank you so much for practicing with me today. Today, as you go forward, may you have conviction in your thoughts, thoughtfulness in your words, and kindness in your heart. Namaste.